Good morning. I woke up today and I realized I was 40 years old today. 40, the big 4-0. So how does it feel? <laughs> it doesn't feel any different to being 39, but I think the only thing that I feel is that I realize that there is a lot of pressure from the society to accomplish certain things by the time you reach these milestones like 30, 40, 50. So I think it's important that we don't necessarily assign ourselves these false expectations. And that is not to say that you can just do nothing and bum around and not try to achieve anything with your life. But you should set, set your expectations realistically and you should set them in line with what you want to do with your life. Because everyone's different and not everyone wants to have, you know, a wife and kids by the time they're 40. I would actually like to have that, but I pretty much can't. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy. 40 feels great. As you can see, I'm running in the park. Uh, I'm back in uh, Poland. I'm here for another 10 days. Uh, I've had a great time doing my European trip. I just got back from France yesterday. And France, Southern France, Provence was beautiful. If you follow my Instagram, Riding with Jake, Riding with Jake, you will see my Provence pictures. And man, if you want to go on a vacation or on a holiday and you're looking for a place, oh, Provence is awesome. It's really pretty, it's really picturesque, and if you like wine, it's perfect for it. It's a winemaking region, and the French people there are very nice. They actually speak English, and they're very nice to you. I, you know, there's this reputation, there's this misconception that the French are rude and they won't speak English to you. Well, it's not true. Down there, they're very nice and they will speak English to you. They just want your money, some of them, but some of them are just being nice, so. Um, I also met a lot of Belgians for some reason. There were, where we were staying at, my friend and I, at the hotel, there was a ton of Belgians, and I would say 60% of the guests were from Belgium. And apart from one person, I never knew any Belgians, and their, langu their linguistic situation has always intrigued me. Like, some of them speak Flemish or Dutch and some of them speak French pretty much 50 50 north and south but the Belgians I met last week at the hotel when you heard him they sat next to me at the table I mean like two feet away from me and so I heard everything they were saying and they were speaking this weird mixture of French and Flemish and Dutch and it was just so weird I'd never heard that before they they were literally switching back and forth between their version of French and their version of Dutch or or for example the parents would be speaking French and the son was reading a newspaper in Dutch it was so cool so of course uh, and they were pretty nice to us too like they were friendly they were saying hello oh, a hot guy just passed by me Anyway, so they were pretty friendly and saying hello to us. And I wish I had an opportunity to talk to them. Like, the hotel didn't have any mixers. The hotel, that hotel, it was a small boutique hotel. They should have really arranged like a mix, like a cocktail mixer for the guests so the guests could get to know each other. Because other than little chit chat and good morning and at the table at breakfast or at dinner, you couldn't really interact with the guests unless you were at the pool at the same time. Anyway, so that was France, and that was my impression of the Belgians, and that's why I kind of supported Belgium in soccer last night when they were playing uh, Brazil, and Belgium won, so that was fun. What else? Oh yeah, so I'm feeling much better. I actually couldn't sleep last night because of, the, of me turning 40. I had a hard time falling asleep and apart from my friend and I stayed up late drinking um, when I went to bed it was already like 
one o'clock and so I had already turned 40 when I went to bed and I had all these weird false expectations that oh my god you know your peers are doing this and and they're having good jobs and well some of them have good jobs some of them don't but you know the ones that do I always, those are the ones I always compare myself to and there is this pressure to be at the top of your life and be making lots of money and be performing and yeah I, I don't I'm not doing that really I'm not making a ton of money right now I'm trying to be happy the best way the best way that I can uh, and I'm trying to I'm trying to find a place where I can finally settle down I thought that was England but it's not I tried living in England and I wasn't really happy after several years of living there so now I'm kind of trying to live in the US but we'll see whether that'll work out or not it's kind of beautiful here look is this gonna record any different now I had my phone uh, vertically and now it's horizontally but yeah this is very pretty this is a park in the middle of Warsaw my friend just lives down the street um, and it's so pretty here in the summer in the winter it's not in the winter the story is a little different in the winter it's very gray and dark and rainy and cold but it's beautiful in the summer all of Europe is beautiful in the summer oh yeah I wanted to add this piece uh, so when I was in Monaco I really liked Monaco and some of my friends who have two friends of mine on Facebook who were there too they said oh we don't like it so much blah blah so I liked it the only thing I didn't like about Monaco was apart from real estate prices which were crazy I didn't like that uh, you had to pay in to get into the casino I was like what you have to pay to get into a casino in the States it's like they're almost paying you to go to their casino they want you to go they want you to come in they want you to spend your money in Monaco you had to pay 17 euros to go to, to go into their the famous casino in Monaco in Monte Carlo so I gambled because I'm a gambling junkie but uh, there's like a little pre like a little there's like a little foyer uh, before you go inside the main casino and the little foyer has maybe about 15 machines it, most of them are uh, most of them are slot machines there's maybe yeah there's about 15 of them uh, some newer some older and you can play on those for free so it's like a mini casino before you get into the main casino for which you have to pay so I only had 50 euros to waste so I was like I'm not spending 17 euros and only have what 37 left to gamble with that's crazy so I just played in that little foyer hey and I was like up and down as usual but then I was down to like 20 euros and I hit a mini jackpot and I went up to like 50, 60 euros so hey I won a little bit of money of course I didn't do it to win a lot of money I just did it so I could tell I just did it so I could say that I gambled in uh, Monte Carlo. Hey, hey, hey ho.